What, what up, metal metalhead? Heads. Okay, so welcome back to the Table of Metal. Now, so we're gonna review Blood Ceremonies, uh, The Eldritch Dark. Uh, you guys may have not heard of this album because this is also pretty sm uh, small, under radar. I don't know if this is doom metal or if it's. I don't know what it is. I've heard it be called like witch rock, which doesn't sound like an actual genre to me, but that's what I've heard it be called. Hmm. Uh, to me, it's really doomy. But at the same time, it also isn't all that metal. But at the same time, it is. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think this is. Uh, anyways, the first song is Witchwood, and it opens up like this. And this is what makes me believe that it is doom metal. Black magic has risen in Witchwood. The devilry takes place within our lonely wood. It's semi doomy. It's kind of like rock, but it's doomy. I don't know. That's what I get from so it. I, I don't. I don't hear it as doom metal. I hear it as like like you said, doom rock. Yeah, it's like doom rock, but I don't know. It seems more metal to me than rock because it's. It seems to be more instrument driven, especially with these uh, uh, flute parts. There, she tends to do lots of flute solos and and flute kind of pieces like riffs. Uh, check this out. My friend and I, we had great thirst. So yeah, she said she tends to do lots of like flute things like that. Uh, and that actually kind of be dry. That is kind of driving the album. That along with the guitar. And Andres, didn't you say that you've seen these guys before? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, what? I saw these guys play at Portland. And she had this flu. They looked really like metal, like doomy. Like they had like altars and skulls and freaking like you know like the the cult looking things. Yeah. Like a cloak. <laughs> yeah, like little cloak things and all the witchcrafty stuff. So. I don't know. It's it's like it's doom metal, it's like a different version of doom metal. Uh, they even do ballads like this. My friend and I, we had great thirst. We drank our cups bone dry. Much stranger yet was the drinks of that. It's witchery, I cry. I am okay, so uh, the ballads on here are put together really beautifully, though. Uh, oh, but musically, everything is put together really well. The riffing is really nice. Uh, the bass. You can actually hear the bass on here, and it sounds really, really good. I actually uh, really do like the bass. The bass is pretty cool. But in some songs, I kind of don't like the bass. Yeah, well, in some songs, the bass is overridden by other instruments. But even then, it's still there. And it's yeah. it gets kind of uh, you know basic and boring. Mm -hmm. But it's there, and it does help the album uh, dramatically, I think. Because it would sound flat if it didn't have yeah. that bass. Uh, especially something like this, where you have like flutes and stuff this band sounds like they would be playing at a a coffee shop or, or not a coffee shop a bar this sounds like a bar band is what it is what it sounds like to me like a bar metal band um my favorite song on here is called uh goodbye gemini Okay, so uh, this album is just full of flute work, which is amazing. Uh, you usually see that in black metal a lot, but in here, it's done in a different way. More uh, kind of really witchcrafty is is what it's giving me. It's giving me that kind of vibe. And then it kicks in with this really kick-ass uh, guitar riff, uh, even the bass, and it sounds really rock-like. It sounds really kind of like... Uh, underground rock is what it sounds like. Okay. Oh, 
talked about the vocals yet? No, uh, no, but the vocals, Did they're very the vocals? clean, actually. She seems like a very practiced, very, very trained, very, she seems very expert, I should say. Like, like she has a lot of expertise in singing. That's okay. what she sounds like. I, okay, I hear that. She's really good on vocals. I think she's perfect for this band, yeah. really. Uh, her vocals are good. I feel like she wouldn't do well in other bands, but I feel like this band is totally her thing for her vocals. Uh, they're, they're just awesome. Uh, everything here is like the drumming is really basic. All of the, all, everything we're hearing is really kind of basic and uh, almost generic in like the underground rock kind of stuff. And that's what this is sounds like to me. It just sounds like underground rock music. Uh, it, I would consider it metal. It's really instrument driven. I would say. Uh, I would put it in the doom metal. It's on Metal Blade Records, so. Uh, even though they produce, they make a lot of stuff that just is really kind of lame and not that metal. I would not consider this doom metal, but I would consider it doom yeah. Rock. Okay, stoner rock. There you go. Yeah, That's what stoner this rock. Be. This is this is a stoner rock album. Uh, I do really enjoy this album though, not too much because it doesn't. It's not really a dynamic in what it does, but I like what they're doing. It's it's kind of different. It's a good taste. It's generic in in its kind, but it's not generic in the sense where you hear it all the time and where a ton of bands are doing it. It's just generic in its specific uh, subgenre, I guess. But I do like it. I like it not a lot, but just enough. <laughs> so I will give this album a 5.5. 5.5? 5.5? Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to agree with you. Well, it is a good album. It's a, like, in my opinion, why I would give this is a 4.5. Mm-hmm. Because I I would give this a four point four uh, not four point four a four point five because of because it's very I don't like it very much but everything about it is a pretty is really good it's just somehow for some reason I don't like it very much I like it I don't think there's really anything I don't like about the album it's just that it it it's kind of samey across the whole album and even across, yeah i think that's why I don't even like across it. their other albums like i've even listened to other albums they've had, they have they kind of all are they do the same you know and i think this is the best well that's not true their very first <clears throat> album called blood ceremony the self-titled one this is incredible that one i would probably give a, a 6.5 maybe even a 7 but anyway there's blood ceremonies eldritch the dark. eldritch dark for you uh, it doesn't have a lot to deliver. It's just really flute. It's really fluty. Really got uh, generic. Very relaxing. Very yeah. It's very generic. It sounds like mellow metal is what it to me. It sounds like mellow metal. It's it's almost a little bit more than rock for me. Only because the instruments kind of take the show at times. It's like ACDC. You know, ACDC is a rock band where sometimes the guitar can just overtake the entire song, and therefore to me ACDC is a uh, I consider them metal for especially the Razor's Edge album. It's a pretty metal album. Um, but yeah, if you haven't checked this album out, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'll see you guys later. Hopefully, we'll be doing more doom metal. More. I also want to get into genres like this that I'm showing you, like the kind of weird ones. That... Stoner rock or doom metal? Well, I want to get into doom metal. I want to start doing more doom metal. I also want to start doing more. Uh, I'll get into power metal eventually. But I, I really want to shed light on kind of like these weird genres, like this one, like where it's just like, what is it? What what would this be considered? Or like uh, like Bloodbath, or not, uh, Ghostbath, or like Black Gaze, um, you know, uh, maybe Death Doom, just some other kind of uh, genres that are like weird. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, whatever. Apparently he thinks crops are weird. See you guys later.